Today we are making a chimichurri sauce to go on our tri-tip. Start off with lots of garlic. Grab your mortar and pestle, throw that in. I have some kosher salt and some sugar. Now I'm using the Gordon Ramsay recipe for the chimichurri sauce, and I was it was a little surprised at what he put in, how it worked out, but it, it all worked out in the end. It tasted really good. Put in your parsley, which was fresh from the store. Put in your oregano, which was fresh from the garden, and your dill, which was fresh from the jar. Mash that all up with the sugar, salt, garlic, oregano, parsley, a zested one whole lemon. Now I'm going to crack it. I ended up putting both uh, both halves of the ju juice in there. Smash it around some more. Put in about a quarter cup of olive oil. Get it all all the flavors good and combined. Now I'll thoroughly wash your molten pestle as we make the rub. Some beautiful coffee beans for a coffee rub on the tri-tip. Don't be shy with your mortar and pestle. Really get uh, smash it, nice, smash the beans up. Now go ahead and add your crushed, cracked black pepper, kosher salt, paprika, and garlic powder. Four of my favorite ingredients. Not to mention the coffee. We are smoking the tri-tip today at 225 degrees right up until the temperature internally of the tri-tip is 125. Then we'll take it off and do it in reverse sear style. Moment of silence here, as this is truly magical. Spent no expense. This is what we're starting off with for indirect cooking on our big green egg. You can see the deflector plate is installed, so we're not doing direct heat, we're doing indirect. Now we're getting the big egg set up to do it for direct. Sorry, here is a little bit clip of my neighbor in his unsuc unsuccessful attempt of trying to uh, trim his fence line. My apologies. We have a scorching hot fire right here. I'll try the gloves on. Get this on. It says cooked all the way through right now at medium rare. So we are not wanting to uh, cook internally. We're just going for the outside. All good sides are good and coated, good and kissed. Good to me. I'm calling it. Best part of my day right here. Hopefully didn't. <laughs> All right. Let me try tip. We got grain coming down this way. Grain going this way. Go and cut this guy from this side. Oh, looks amazing. Now, I am a little disappointed with the color on this. I overcooked it, and to that I apologize, but no one's perfect. So not only do we have the steak, of course, but we have the chimney sauce and chimichurri sauce, which has been sitting now for a good three hours, three plus hours, so let's go ahead and get that on there as well.
There we go. I'd say that is a amazing, amazing meal. Meal fit for a king. Okay. Is that good? So, how's my hair? Good? <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh, this looks amazing. So, Oh, thanks, kiddo. I was, I was just, I was just using. I was trying to get you to, I was trying to get you to roll your eyes, and you did. So, thanks. Yeah, we didn't. You didn't? Yeah. Really? <laughs> mm, okay. All right. So, you got some steak and some chimichurri sauce. Looks absolutely incredible. Okay, I'll give you a piece without the chimichurri sauce on it. Okay. There you go. Take a bite. Good? Yeah. Okay. So now, I'll take some of the sauce on it. A little messy. What do you think? Pretty good? I'll tell you, I'm going to be sleeping good tonight. This thing is absolutely incredible. Two thumbs up. I was very, very impressed with how this tasted. When I was tasting it with some, uh, actually some, some homemade bread that my wife made before we tried on the steak and I was very, very impressed with how, how, how this turned out. Most recipes I've seen that call for red wine, red wine vinegar is called for the lemon juice. There you are. So what, what did you think of it? 10 thumbs up. 10 thumbs up. 10 okay. Plus up. 10 plus thumbs up. So I haven't, I don't normally do this. I don't really like to, but uh, please subscribe to this channel. We uh, want to do lots more stuff. A lot, lot, lot of things planned, but makes it much easier if I have a bigger, bigger subscriber base and, and more views and all that. So, uh, shameless plug for you to like this video, comment on it, subscribe to my channel. Please do so. Any questions, leave them down below. Right, kiddo? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for everybody for watching. Have a great, have a great day. Keep barbecuing America. Bye.